Hey everyone, my name is Roy Ziv and welcome to this free training where I'll be teaching you how to easily spice up your playing by using the hexatonic scale to visualize the entire fretboard and target the most melodic notes. Now hexatonic is just a fancy name for a six note scale and it's really easy to learn because all we're really doing is adding just one extra note to the pentatonic scale. Now adding this new note turns a pentatonic into a hexatonic scale and I've used this concept in pretty much all my solos that have gotten millions of views online and I guarantee that if you apply the hexatonics method to your own playing, it'll completely transform your solos and improv just like it has for hundreds of my students. Now there's several notes you can add to your pentatonic scale to spice it up, but only one note can dramatically change the way you play and that's this note right here, which you can think of as the added second or the ninth. Here's what it sounds like when you add it to the pentatonic scale. Some of the other notes you can add, like the major third, the major six, or even a flat six, they all sound great as well, but they only work in certain situations. That first note that I showed you, this note right here, works with any chord progression where you'd use a pentatonic scale. So I want you to think back for a second to all the times you use the pentatonic scale to improvise. I would say you use it pretty much all the time, right? Well, the hexatonic scale works just like the pentatonic, which means you can use it all the time over almost any chord progression. But it sounds a lot more melodic, a lot more musical, and more interesting than your basic pentatonic box. Now, learning the hexatonic scale shape is very simple, and I'll teach you how to play properly in just a second, but fully understanding the power of the hexatonic scale goes way beyond the basic scale shape. You can probably learn the scale in just a few minutes, and you'll sound great playing it, but when you learn how to properly use the hexatonic scale shape as a tool to visualize and map out the entire fretboard, that's when things get really interesting. You see, there's an entire system hidden within the scale shape that lets you unlock the entire neck so you can visually target the most melodic notes, upper structure triads, seventh and ninth arpeggios, advanced sequences, chromatic devices, all these things that sound incredible are easily found within the hexatonic scale shape once you understand the system that combines it all together. And that's what makes the hexatonic scale method so great. You're basically able to play all these melodic complex things, but you're visualizing it all using just the pentatonic scale and that one extra note. So it makes it so easy to learn, which is why so many of my students are able to apply it to their playing pretty much right away. Now, before I show you uh, all the cool things that you can play with the hexatonic scale system, I'm just gonna teach you the basic scale real quick so you can at least start with that. In the key of A minor, our first pentatonic shape starts on the fifth fret. Okay, and our ninth note is B, which we have on the seventh fret of the E, the fourth fret of the G, and the seventh fret of the high E string. These are just octaves of the B note in the first shape. So now, instead of playing the pentatonic like this, it'll sound like this. Here's what it sounds like using that shape to improvise over a C major seven chord. Pretty cool, right? You never think that's basically just a pentatonic scale. It sounds a lot more open, a lot more melodic, a lot more soulful, and that's just the starting point. We can actually use the scale shape as a building block and foundation for everything we play on the guitar. I'll give you an example. Hidden within each of the hexatonic scale shapes, and by the way, there's five hexatonic, uh, hexatonic scale shapes. Right now we're only talking about the first one, but just like the pentatonic scale has five shapes, the hexatonic also has five shapes. So hidden within each of those five shapes is a series of short triads that you can stack together like this. And if we break that down, you get A minor triad, C major triad, E minor, G major, and then it repeats. A minor, C major, and E minor. So why is this so important? Well, let me explain. Moving through the scales using triads gives you a much more musical and mature sound. It allows you to hit extensions and flavor notes on a lot of the diatonic chords related to our key. These are all tension notes that add a ton of color and flavor to your sound, and they'll help you find more unique and interesting melodies. Imagine if you knew the hexatonic scale in all five positions all over the fretboard, and you stacked all these triads together in your licks. You can create some incredible melodies without having to think about the theory of trying to target the 9th or the 11th or the 13th over certain chords. You basically just play through the scale shape, and you'll naturally hit these beautiful colors and intervals. 
That's what makes this scale so practical. Now, if you wanna take that concept a step further, you can also add an extra note from the hexatonic scale to each one of those triads, and that's gonna give you seventh arpeggios. That'll sound like this. Okay? Adding seventh arpeggios to your lick vocabulary is really gonna expand your playing. Now, all of that was played using just the six notes of the hexatonic scale, and although they sound great, what if you wanted to add a few more notes? Well, with the hexatonic scale method, you're not stuck to just these six notes. Just like I mentioned earlier, we're using the scale shape as a building block to visualize everything on the guitar, which means you can expand on these six notes and add the blues notes, which will sound like this. And chromatic passing tones, which will sound like this. And all of that will still work over almost any chord progression. And when you connect all those together, the possibilities are endless. And just to show you what you can achieve with this, I'm gonna play a short solo real quick that uses everything we talked about so far, using the five hexatonic scale shapes to build chromatic lines, add blues notes, play triads, arpeggios, sequences, and everything you're about to hear is built entirely using the hexatonic scale method. Check it out, it's only a few seconds long. Pretty cool, right? Now remember, this entire hexatonic thing started by adding just one extra note to your basic pentatonic scale, and from there we were able to use that shape to map out the entire fretboard. So now we're adding blues notes and chromatic passing tones and triads and arpeggios and linear sequences all within the framework of the hexatonic scale. And the best part is, everything you play using the shape sounds very melodic and flavorful no matter what you play. It's always gonna have this like tasty, soulful sound to it. Now, if you stick around to the end of this video, I'll teach you a really cool lick note by note with tabs just to get you started with the scale. But if you wanna learn even more about this powerful concept, I actually put together a three-part masterclass on the hexatonic scale that teaches you everything you need to know and how to apply the scale to your own playing pretty much right away. Like I mentioned at the beginning, learning the scale shape is very simple. You don't need an entire masterclass to learn the scale and you could probably figure out the rest of the five positions on your own. Instead, what this masterclass does is it shows you how to use the hexatonic scale shape as the foundation for everything you do on the guitar so you can pretty much unlock the entire fretboard. You've probably heard of the cage scale system or the three note per string system. Well, this is just another system that helps you visualize the fretboard. The only difference here is it sounds way more melodic and tasteful and you can use it the same way as you use the pentatonic scale, which means you can use it pretty much all the time. So if you're interested in checking out this masterclass, just hit the link below to get to the masterclass page. Now, before I let you leave, I just want to teach you a very short, really cool sounding lick that uses the built-in triads within the hexatonic scale. Here's what it sounds like. And all we're doing here is sending up an E minor seven arpeggio, then sliding from the fourth fret into a C major seven arpeggio, Okay, and then descending down the scale, starting on the B string, and ending it with a slide into that B note, from the five to the four on the G. So all together you have E minor seven, C major seven, and then descend down the scale, and then slide into that note. Put it all together and you get. Add a few slides to jazz it up a bit. And you got this really nice lick. All right, so I hope this short introduction to the hexatonic scale opens up some new ideas for you. But as I mentioned earlier, everything I showed you today is just the tip of the iceberg. 
You can do so much more with the scale, and my Hexatonic Scale Masterclass covers everything you need to know to be able to move around the scale effortlessly and really squeeze out the melodic potential of the scale. So if you're interested in learning more about that, just click the link below, and I'll see you inside.